Hello, my name is Jonathan Marshall, VP of Safety for PNS Transportation. Today we would like to present on how to haul heavy machinery. We have recently started hauling more equipment for customers such as John Deere and Caterpillar. This is high value equipment and needs to be protected in transit. Protecting the freight in transit includes having it secured on the trailer and also taking the necessary precautions against theft. Let's start with securement. Section 393.130 of the FMCSRs provides the rules for securing heavy vehicles, equipment, and machinery. It specifically refers to weight. If the equipment is on wheels or tracks and weighs over 10,000 pounds or more, it must be secured with a minimum of four securement devices. If the equipment is on wheels or tracks and weight is under 10,000 pounds, it can be secured in accordance to FMCSR 393.128 or in accordance with the provisions of 393.100 through 393.114. Dana Carr, our securement manager, is going to explain how to secure these products. We are now going to get more details on securement. We will break this down by talking about weight and then securement points, along with direction of pull on these devices. Weight of the machinery. We need to secure machinery that is less than 10,000 pounds with a minimum of two securement devices. Two securement devices should only be used if you have multiple pieces of equipment and do not have enough securement devices to utilize four on a single piece of equipment. Four securement devices are always recommended. However, we can secure with two according to the regulations. For example, if you have two skid steers less than 10,000 pounds, you can secure four chains and binders on each since you were issued 10 out of orientation. If you have three skid steers or more, you're not going to be able to secure each skid steer with four chains and binders because this would require a total of 12 chains and binders. You would secure the front and rear pieces of machinery with four securement devices and the middle you could secure with FMCSR minimum of two securement devices. Equipment that is 10,000 pounds or more must have a minimum of four securement devices. Regardless of weight, the securement devices on heavy equipment should be pulling in opposite directions. In most cases, this means the chain securing the front of the equipment should be pulling toward the front of the trailer. And the chains securing the rear of the equipment should be pulling toward the back of your trailer. The exception to this direction of pull would occur when hauling a bulldozer. Hauling a bulldozer would require that you pull toward the center of the equipment. This will prevent the equipment from moving in transit. The securement devices should be hooked directly to or through the securement points of the equipment. Some equipment may indicate securement points with a diagram sticker near the attachment point. If you are unsure of the securement points, be sure to ask the shipper. Again, a bulldozer is the exception. On the bulldozer, hook the chain to the tracks and back to the trailer spool. If there is Accessory equipment such as a hydraulic shovel attached to the equipment, it must be lowered. Once lowered, it should be secured to the deck of the trailer. Placing a board between the deck of the trailer and the accessory point can prevent damage to the trailer. Lastly, to demonstrate that everything has been secured properly, we are requiring a photo to be taken on the tablet and sent through the Samsara app. Due to the value of these loads, we need to take extra precautions against theft. Our driver managers should be speaking to you before you pick up and leave the shipper. Communication should include the following. Planning your trip and discussing the planned stops. Verbally discussing high theft locations based off recent reported activity. Verbally discussing parking requirements. We prefer these locations to park. PSL property, driver's personal property, reputable truck stops. It will be explained that after you park in one of the above locations, we will require a photo of the tractor and trailer connected. The tractor and trailer should never be disconnected. In addition, we will require a photo of the air cuff lock being utilized. This device should be used every time that you step away from the tractor trailer. Lastly, the DM will discuss weekend loads and parking. Drivers will be asked to keep their keys to their equipment in the possession while being away from the truck. 
These keys include the key to the tractor and the keys to the air cuff lock. I hope that this video provided you with more insight on how to haul heavy machinery safely down the roadway, stay compliant with FMCSA, and prevent theft of this commodity. Thanks again for all that you do, and remember to keep safety your number one priority.